In this exercise, we will demonstrate how to create more intricate rhythmic patterns when reading a lead sheet. Now, this lesson is an extension or second part to the last lesson, uh, reading a basic lead sheet where we use the song Edelweiss from The Sound of Music as, a, uh, as the song that, for the demonstration. Now, in reading a lead sheet, uh, in the last lesson, we played a single left-hand chord where each chord was indicated. So if we saw a C chord, we would play a single C. And if we saw a G chord, we would do accordingly as well. Right? Now, um, there has to be something that is more exciting than this that we can do, uh, which has a greater complexity. Uh, the first thing to note is the time signature of the song. The time signature is in 3-4 or in 3s. So you would count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That is one of the more important things to note when you are creating a rhythmic pattern. Right, so first of all, we can do, there are several things we can do. We can do one pattern, which is C, E, G. Anything that fits into the 3 pattern or the 3 meter of this song. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, G, 2, 3. Just like this. Let's come up with another pattern. Another pattern we could use is the uh, simple waltz pattern. So we would play a C note and we would play a C chord above. So one, two, three, G. text of the song and I'll go over that a little bit more slowly. So C G C chord F chord C A minor D G Okay, uh, let's go over a third pattern. And this is a more complex pattern. So this one, uh, we can uh, play it a little faster. Instead of counting one, two, three, we can count one and, two and, three and. So counting a little quicker to give the left hand a little bit more of a flowing rhythm. So let's try this pattern. One and, two and, three and. Note that this is the C chord that is rearranged. The E is played up here instead of down on the bottom. So I am playing C, G, and then the G chord, F chord, C chord. Let's play the song. Actually, we're going to play it a little bit faster uh, so that we can show you the song. One and two and three. play uh, the entire song, I will switch back and forth between the three patterns to demonstrate uh, how this works. Okay, so I will begin with the very simple pattern, uh, the simple one, three, five pattern. C chord, G chord, F, C, E minor. Second pattern, so bass chord, G chord, C chord, F, C chord, G 
to the third pattern. Thank you for watching.